Seems early, doesn't it? <laughs> Watching people kind of walk in the door. We're blessed today to have the most popular, most quoted scripture passage in all of scripture, John 3.16. Some say John 3.16 sums up the whole gospel. Some say it captures the entire body of sacred scripture. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son, so that everyone goes to heaven. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's not it. I grew up in the 60s and 70s, and that was the teaching, basically. Everybody's going to heaven. God loves you so much. That's not what Jesus says. God so loved the world, he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, might have eternal life. The exact words of Jesus to Nicodemus. Beginning his public ministry, Jesus said, repent and believe in the good news. Belief is necessary, faith is necessary for eternal life. So it's a very important question, it seems to me, what it means to believe. How can people say they believe in Jesus Christ, not believe what he said, not believe what he taught? How can you say you believe in Jesus Christ and not believe in the church founded on the rock of St. Peter. Peter, you are a rock. On this rock, I will build my church. How can you not believe this is my body? This is my blood poured out for you. How can we say we believe and not be believe in the words and the teachings of Jesus, the Son of God? We can't. What does it mean to have faith? What does it mean to believe? Is it a creed that we say? I believe in one God, the Father Almighty. Is it words that we say? Is it a scent of the heart? Is it a gift, as St. Paul says today? Faith is a gift? Or is it a response to the gift? What does it mean to believe? It's an element of belief that is gift. St. Augustine calls it divine illumination. It's a movement from darkness of night, like Nicodemus, to enlightenment, coming to understand with our minds and our hearts the mystery of God. The Holy Spirit gives us that, that gift, be able to know as God knows, to see as God sees. Is that faith? Is it an acceptance of the gift that God wants to give us of eternal life? Is it an ascent of the heart? Look at the word belief. Look at the, the etymology of it. It means to trust. As a little child trusts in a loving parent. You must become like little children, Jesus said, to enter the kingdom of God. It's an element then of, of, of trust. Trust in a loving parent father, a loving parent. And all these come together, it seems to me, in the personal relationship with Jesus. Last weekend, I preached about those first words of Jesus, repent and believe in the good news. And I said that repentance is about reconnecting with that source of love and mercy. Because of our free will, we have the ability to cut ourselves off from that source of love and life. And love has to be free. That's why, that's why John 3.16 goes beyond that comma, because we have to accept the gift of love. Love is not forced upon us. Love, by its very nature, has to be accepted, has to be received. So, 
we, are, we aren't like puppets. We are called into this loving relationship. So I think that faith is, is a response to that love. Now, if, if repentance is the reconnecting of the source of love and mercy, if, re, if a, repentance is going beyond the mind to a level of love, level of the heart, to go beyond calculation as love does, then I think belief is remaining in that relationship. Remaining in that love relationship with God. Jesus, when he's talking about eternal life at the Last Supper, talked about this indwelling presence, abiding presence. Father, may they be one as you and I are one. He called us to remain in that love, to persevere, as St. Paul says. Persevere in faith. Persevere in that personal relationship with Jesus. St. Paul says if we live with him, then we die with him. If we die with him, we rise with him. It is through him we have the, the avenue into eternal life, only connected to him. And he, in his body, the church, the mystical body here on earth, that's how we connect with him in that loving relationship. It takes us above everything else. And, and in that relationship, we see as God sees, we know as God knows, we trust in our loving Father, in that relationship. That's what it means to have faith, to live in that relationship. It's a way of life. It's a way of living. And we as the body of Christ are called into that way of life. That's what faith is. Eternal life comes in this connection with God, divine life and human life. And nowhere in the world is that more real, more personal, more substantial than right here on our altar. When God chooses to share his abiding love with us, we say, Amen, yes, I believe. And that is faith. So come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of us, your faithful, and to kindle within us the fire of your love. Amen. Now I can sit down. <laughs>